The crisis the country now faces is in destruction of its forests. Currently, Kenya has only a 6.9% of forest cover, a worrisome downward trend that has seen shrinking water catchment areas, even leading to rationing of water in major towns. But is the moratorium declared by government against logging enough in only 90 days? The crucial question now facing the newly inaugurated 17-member Rapid Response Environmental Task Force. Part of the docket of this task force would be to consider at the end whether this moratorium should be uh, converted to a ban or whether it should be lifted. But the question lies in the how. Just how will the implementation of the planned planting of 125 million seedlings be achieved and sustained? We don't do it at one place. We do it in all the 47 counties. We have events, we have activities throughout. The DP who chaired the first meeting of the task force warning it would not be business as usual. This is not a PR exercise. In the past, We've had exercises that end up being photo ops and publicity stunts of planting one tree here and two trees there. The government ready and raring to make heads roll as well. To be able to achieve the proper management of our forest resources, some sacrifices have to be made. In its vision 2030, the country hopes to have achieved the minimum 10% forest cover recommended by the United Nations, only with the urgency at hand, that deadline now being pushed up eight years. We shifted from tree planting to tree growing. So we focus on planting where seedlings will be taken care of and survival will be guaranteed. Maybe changing the narrative that exists at the moment about 2022, so that it doesn't become the political narrative about 2022, but the environmental narrative about 2022, that we can get 10% forest cover. The multi-sectoral task force is expected to present a preliminary report within 14 days and a comprehensive one within 30. It's an ambitious plan by a government that is already on the receiving end of critics who some argue that this is only a knee-jerk reaction by the government despite the need to end the wanton destruction of forests. Now just how soon and how tenable their plans will be is a matter of wait and see. Jackie Maribe, Citizen TV in Nairobi.